Hello gamers, I am Tigwick, and tonight we are continuing the Sky Factory 2.5 tutorials. This time we are going to show you building a barrel. We're going to build some barrels and show off what the barrels can do, and you can compost and stuff like that. And we'll show uh, expanding the base a bit. As you can see, I've actually created more of a platform here for us to walk around on. So let's get started. I created some barrels uh, while you guys were away, and that wasn't too hard. So what I did is I took some wood from my trees. Whoops, don't, don't, don't get rid of that wood. Come on, wood. Come back. Okay, so I took some wood and I refined it into some wood planks by uh, just putting in my crafting grid there and take out the planks and uh, and then using uh, some more of those as you see earlier we um, we created the uh, the crafting station using the crafting station if you if you throw enough wood planks on the bottom row you get three of them in a row you get six slabs the slabs are useful because they're um, they can be used for extra flooring because they're you make a bunch of slabs out of only three pieces of wood or uh, or rock and they can also be used to make the barrel so we make some more wood here just enough to line the outside of the uh, the grid so we'll put oops that was a very awkward way of doing that, but we'll do that. And then we'll put one slab at the bottom, and now you have your barrel shape, and that makes a, an oak barrel out of the uh, the wood that we have here. So I made an oak barrel. We'll collect all our wood again. And that's all you do. And I'm going to put the barrels over here. Now what's going to happen, because I'm going to place this barrel, is that because it's raining, it's going to fill up with rain. As you can see right there, it is filling up with rain. Now that's both good and bad. It's bad because I don't want my barrel to be covered uh, filling up with rain because I want to be composting in my barrel to make more dirt. As you can see, that's how I got this second tree planted here is that I composted some dirt I, while, I, while you were away. I composted some dirt and planted uh, that dirt patch there and planted another tree on it. Um, so I need to be able to do that again. What I can do in order to prevent the rain from falling in there is put the barrel under something like a tree. Uh, oh, oh! Apparently, no, I can't because it isn't the, the leaves do not uh, the leaves don't do it. So I need to put it under a piece of wood. Let's try a slab. If I put a slab off this tree here, and then I try putting a barrel underneath it. There we go. Okay, so I've made a nice little uh, protective uh, uh, rain barrier over my, my barrel here. I'm going to fill it up with saplings. I'm going to start composting those saplings. Now you may have noticed my trees are bone white. My trees are white because I infested them with... Uh, if you can't see them now, but I infested them with silkworms that you get. So when you're knocking down your tree and you're, you're uh, using your crook on your leaves, you will get silkworms. And eventually you'll need to get string in order to make stuff. So you'll want to infest the tree with silkworms. So what I'm going to do, hopefully I can get um, some, just to show you. To show you, oh, there's one, okay. So so what you see, I've got a silkworm here. And all you do is you just right click on a patch of leaves that are not yet infested. But these ones are being infested. And uh, I guess actually none of these leaves are available to infest because they are all infested. But what you would do is you would simply right click on a patch and it would say it's infesting, like this one here. And you watch the counter grow up to 100% and then it spreads out to further leaves. And when it does that, um, you can eventually uh, crook these for string. They have a much higher chance of producing string now. So if I crook all of these, there's a bunch of string, there's a bunch of more string, there's a bunch of string. So I got myself a bunch of string, 60, like I got full stack, a stack and a half of string now, thanks to that. Um, you can continue to knock down the trees as per normal using Vein Miner. Remember Vein Miner, don't forget your friend Vein Miner, it is very useful. And uh, now we have composted dirt in this barrel. We have um, a couple of three or three spots for trees here. And uh, so we'll just do this, we'll plant some more trees, and what you'll see, I guess uh, I, can, I can just pull this out, is that this now is a piece of dirt. So I can, I can plant another piece of dirt, uh, if I simply do that. I don't know why I'm making them in a nice uniform row like that, but I am, so there you go. And I'm going to continue flooring with my slabs that I created, that's how, I, uh, that's how I'm creating the... Uh, the platform. Actually, what I should be doing is picking up these pieces. Oh, or not. Is that going to get to come, come to me? Nope. Ah, nope. Okay, well, that's useless. <laughs> what I should be doing is nothing. Uh, nope, not going to do that. I'm going to drag these along here. I'm going to make some more slabs. I'm going to use those slabs for flooring. 
flooring. And we'll do this, and we'll drag this all the way out here. Because uh, I want my platform to extend. We'll twerk these trees into existence because I need more wood. Eventually we're going to start putting down um, some better barrels and stuff, but after what we need after this is just a sieve. So I have a bunch of silk, I have a bunch of wood, I have the means to make a sieve. So combine your string into a silk mesh, so make a few of those, and make some more sticks out of your wood. So combine the wood, or process the wood into planks and process the planks into sticks. Now you've got some wooden planks, some sticks. You're gonna create a basic sort of um, uh, shape of a sieve here. It's kind of funny. I think this is what it is. Yeah. So you basically make, you got the wooden outline of a sieve, you got this, the, the feet it stands on, the silk mesh, and the wooden planks. So now I've made an oak sieve. The reason we want the sieve is because you can sift dirt and find seeds and um, uh, scraps of metal and other things that you need to basically um, progress in the game now. Uh, so let's put our sieve just randomly down somewhere. And what I can do is I can compost some more dirt and torque these trees as I normally would. Okay, you know what? We'll do it over here. We'll do this tree. Come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, Let's sift the dirt and show you what happens. So I'm going to put the dirt in here and I just right click on the sieve and it starts sifting for me and eventually I get something out of it. So what I got this time was four stones. That's awesome because that makes cobblestone. I can now do something with that cobblestone. I can actually uh, break it down into dust. But um, currently I need to make a hammer in order to do that. So what's going to happen is that you're going to create blocks of ore and you're gonna hammer them into broken pieces and then create blocks out of those and then hammer those and then break those and the process continues and I'll, I'll show you what happens here so we're gonna use the, uh, the crafting device here we're gonna make a hammer this is your basic wooden hammer uh, where did my axe go I guess I need to make a new axe okay Eventually I'm going to have to start making a chest to hold the stuff that I need here, but anyway, we'll get some more dirt. I crafted another um, bucket, and a, it's a, it's covered again here. I think they're inhibiting my tree from growing, but at this point I don't really care. Um, so I've got a hammer, and what I need to do in order to, to um, deal with this piece of cobblestone is put it down, and then hammer it. So now I've created gravel, and gravel you can sift for much cooler things than simply cobblestone. So gravel I can sift for, what did we get this time? We got some coal and a piece of broken copper ore. Those are good because coal can be used with a with a furnace to cook stuff and uh, broken copper ore with three more of those we can make a piece of actual copper uh, ore like a uh, rock or like a block of it that we can then process. So what you can, what you see is that using this this process and just kind of repeating it over and over again we can start getting to a point where we can get enough materials to automate one of the processes or at least get a pattern down like a procedure for it and everything becomes a little bit easier but you kind of have to first initially like you kind of have to initially do the steps yourself uh, work out what you're gonna what you're gonna do and in this case we're gonna make more dirt we're gonna sift through the dirt we're gonna come up with some uh, some cobblestone from that dirt, and then we're gonna produce more um, gravel. And then you can also hammer the gravel to break it down into sand, and then the sand into dust. Or you can sift those materials. You can sift the sand, you can sift the dust, and they produce different materials. So the processing is, is pretty complex, it's pretty powerful, but it's just the same things over and over. Um, it's just that they yield different results based on what you put in and what you take out, and it's, it's just like anything, right? So while we're waiting for that, let's uh, let's just knock down this. Actually, let's let's just put some more uh, build out our platform, right? Let's put some more uh, flooring down because we need the room. So again, this is all straight out of necessity when you're first playing Sky Factory. This is what I've discovered you kind of have to do to even get started. This is not out of the book. 
Um, but I can show you the book, the uh, achievement book here, and we can show you that a bunch of these are going to be crossed, well, not a bunch, but some of these are going to be crossed off. So this is the achievement book for Sky Factory. It keeps track of all the stuff that it kind of tells you you should try and do. Um, we'll get all the way. So we've, we've used a crook on leaves to get saplings and a silkworm. We've made dirt. We've infested leaves. We have used a crook to get string from the infested leaves. We've made a sieve. We've collected rainwater. We have collected cobblestone, or made a cobblestone out of the four small stones that drop. We've created a hammer and used the hammer to turn cobble into gravel, gravel into sand, sand into dust. Um, well, I guess we haven't, because we haven't actually turned gravel into sand and sand into dust. So let's do those things to show off what those are quickly, and then we'll wrap this one up and move on to the next one, okay? So let's quickly make some more dirt. And... Sift that dirt. Get more stone. Okay, so we'll use the hammer and I'll use vein miner to knock both of these into gravel. And I'm going to use the hammer and vein miner to knock one of these. Actually, but both of them into. Because I've already done gravel, so both of them into sand. And I'm going to uh, put one sand in the sieve and one sand here and pound this into dust. I'm gonna sift the dust in a sec. So we'll sift the sand. What do we get from the sand? Uh, maybe some seeds. I don't even know what we got from the sand. And then from the dust, what do we get? Nothing from the dust. Well, lovely. But we've done the things now. So we can put the book down and we've turned, used the hammer to, uh, um, to break all those things down. And we've used the sift, the sieve to sift all them. So in the next, let's move on and we'll, uh, we'll make some Tinker's Construct tools, we'll make some clay, we'll make a crucible, we'll do all, you know, these are, these are not hard to do, we can do those things. I'm an idiot and I can do these things, so you can do them too. So come along with me for the next one, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. If you like the content, please do hit the like button below. That tells me that I need to make more of that. If you want to see more of that, then hit the subscribe button. And as always, please do leave a comment because I love to interact with you. So uh, I'll see you in the next one.